and I am the development officer at The Met in Bury. Um, so that basically means I am in charge of kind of raising funds for the organisation um, and making sure that we can sort of keep going and keep doing all the lovely stuff that we do. So I went to school in Scotland, so mine were kind of standard grades, which were the equivalent of GCSEs, um, and then hires, which were the equivalent of A-levels. I was always quite science-minded in school, I suppose. I think um, I was generally funnelled towards those subjects more. Um, but I chose art and music at uh, GCSE level, so standard grades. Um, I loved them and I did them both at higher as well, but I did them in separate years. I don't know, they were, they were subjects I always enjoyed a lot more. I suppose I never really saw them as being a career path at that point. I did them because I enjoyed them and knew that I wanted to have subjects. It was equally as important for me to have subjects that I could go to and think this is going to be a really nice hour of my day rather than oh my god I'm going to be stressed out figuring out how to do anything related to chemistry which was the rest of my day. Um, so I did that and then I actually applied to university to go and do medicine which was sort of the career path I'd expected at that point. I then went to Edinburgh and started my course and three weeks into it realised it wasn't for me. It was a really strange one, it was obviously very quick but it just didn't feel right, it didn't fit and um, luckily at Edinburgh a great thing was that you could do so you'd have your main degree what you came to, to sort of to study and then you have an outside course in your first year which meant you could just pick anything from the whole university that just sounded good and sounded like something you were a bit interested in so I picked classical history and I loved it like I can't begin to express like the difference in my mood between going to a biology lecture and going to this history lecture and so three weeks in, I just had a had a very late night walk with my sister where we kind of talked through everything and decided that I didn't need to know what the end goal was. I just needed to be happy and to enjoy what I was learning at that time. So I switched to history and I hadn't even done history at school, um, but I managed to blag it somehow. Um, and I, I graduated with, um, with my degree and I loved it, I absolutely loved it. Um, I then went to work at the Royal Academy of Arts in London as a research assistant, so kind of doing sort of the groundwork for what I am at the minute, so kind of researching people who would fund exhibitions or companies who might be appropriate or um, conducting like due diligence on them to make sure that if they did fund us that the money wasn't coming from a not so great place. Um, and I completely fell into that job by accident. I left uni and, and had that kind of panic that I think a lot of people do of, of what on earth am I going to do? But something that I was always told by my careers advisor at Edinburgh, and he was great, he was really, really good, and I definitely recommend making use of those resources wherever you can, um, was that I think the arts are sometimes often seen as something where you won't have a direct path into a career and you'll be outcompeted by people who studied law or business when in actuality, people nowadays are looking for kind of more well-rounded, sort of interesting backgrounds. And if you can bring something different to the table, whilst showing that obviously you've worked hard and you want to pursue that as a career, sometimes it gives you the edge, if anything, um, and gives you kind of a bit of a different perspective on things. And he was really great at communicating that to me. Then I decided when I was in London that I just hadn't had enough of university, apparently and um, moved back up to Manchester to do a master's in museum and art gallery studies which at that time I thought again I want to work in museum I kind of studied history I loved it I thought it was really important that I could try and make other people love it too and um, started doing a part-time master's um, and moved to do a part-time job as a fundraising officer for Manchester Mind the mental health charity so kind of keeping that fundraising on the side and then I moved to the Met about a year ago now to do funding for the arts and that is kind of where I figured out I think I fit the best and I enjoy the most. It's given me the kind of diversity in a job that I wanted. I was kind of, I was always the cliche, you know, you want to do something that you really enjoy and that you feel like you're making a difference. And I think a lot of adults told me that that just wasn't the case and you just you had to accept that you had to get a job and you just sort of chugged along like everyone and you just did it to pay the bills and that's just not true I think there's so many jobs that I don't even know exist I know was never communicated to and the skills that I gained through pursuing a subject that I enjoyed and that I was passionate about and that I really applied myself to got me much further than I would have done if I'd have stuck with what I thought people sh people should do at that time there's kind of a base level of skills you get from creativity including things just like confidence and communication and teamwork 
but creativity I think also encourages you to sort of think a bit differently and to sort of explore different ideas and engage with different people who you might not have thought were a great fit and for any job I think that's really important I think having those skills will always get you further and always serve you well um, but for my job in particular um, I mean not only do I work obviously in a creative industry but um, to kind of have the ideas to see us through situations like the one we're in at the minute like Covid that's the only way we've been able to do it is by all of the staff putting their heads together and thinking well what, how are we going to solve this problem and I think that's essentially what creativity is, is kind of problem solving. Um, super important to any job. I wish I'd kind of made more use, I suppose, in a weird way of like my free time when I was younger. So I used to do dance classes as like kind of very young, sort of like age of five to maybe about 13 and then I stopped. And I really regret that actually. I regret kind of continuing those on because they were such a nice sort of release and, and kind of just different ways to spend my time where I could think about something else and focus on something else. I think creative subjects often require you to use a different part of your brain so it's never the same as studying for what I remember studying for like maths or, or biology was like. It's, it's completely different, it kind of takes a different part of your brain and allows the other side of your brain to rest and that's what I always found with we doing things like dancing but I stopped my classes because all the exams were coming up and they were getting quite hard and I was getting stressed out about my school exams I didn't really see it as an opportunity to to relax I suppose almost um, I suppose I wish I'd kept those up um, but I did them on a more casual level later on in school I would do like school dance shows and things um, and I used to take music lessons and I also stopped those before the exams hit because I was worried as well and I think that yeah it, it probably wasn't the best decision. I would say don't be afraid of not knowing where it's going to lead you. I think there's so much pressure on people to know exactly where they're going. I don't know where I'm going still. I think it's just and something I wish I'd known when I started university when I was in school making those choices is it's okay to pick what you enjoy. It's okay to kind of pursue something that other people might say oh it won't lead to a viable career because even if that set career they have in mind isn't the one you end up doing it will still serve you well in another aspect there's so much more creativity is so much more versatile than people give it credit for and so much more valued than people give it credit for if you can go to an interview any job interview and be passionate about the job and prove why you deserve to be there your background isn't going to matter as much as you think it is um, but the main thing I would say is just don't worry. Don't worry about all these five year, 10 year plans. Just do something you enjoy, work hard at it and figure it out as you go along and you'll probably be happier at the end of it for it.